Hello, and welcome to West Lafayette Looking Back. Today we're visiting Harry's Chocolate Shop, which has been operating for over 80 years in its original location. It has become both a nationally and internationally recognized brand. Harry J. Merrick opened Harry's Chocolate Shop at 329 State Street almost a century ago in 1919. Harry's was the only soda fountain near Purdue throughout most of the 20s. He began serving mostly fountain drinks and lunch items until a license to serve beer was established and eventually a liquor license. Harry J. Merrick Jr. became a full-time proprietor of the shop with his father at the end of World War II. Harry stayed in the Merrick family until 1977 when it was sold to Herschel and Mary Cook, the current owners of the shop. Herschel, Mary, and the Merricks are all Purdue alumni and previously resided on South Chauncey Avenue. chocolate shop here and their license came available. There was only one allowed in the city of West Lafayette. Yeah, he could have to got it. Now, do you remember what year that was? 1930. 1932. First beer license was 1932. Yeah, and um, he, his first thought was to use it in somewhere else. But then he found out that um, Purdue was building a sweet shop, and he thought, ah, oh, that's going to take quite a bit of his business. And that's when he talked to Deke and said, I can bring this license and, uh, into the chocolate shop. And Deke, did, that's when he, Deke did what he fired of it. So then that's when Harry brought the license. So he kept the name Chocolate Shop because he still, he still offered after crown uh, treats and everything. And all of that, but he added beer to it. Well, eventually, the ice cream went and the beer got better. But that's how it during Prohibition, Harry's was transformed into a chocolate shop, but a trapdoor existed in the floor that led to an underground speakeasy. The trapdoor still exists in the middle of the floor today, but is now used as a cooler storage space. The Go Ugly Early slogan, which is found on many of the Harry's shirts and merchandise, was actually the password to the speakeasy during Prohibition. After Prohibition, Harry's served milkshakes and malts at one end of the bar, while serving beer at the other. Today it remains a popular hangout for Purdue students and alumni alike. The upstairs area, called the Fishbowl, is a major hangout for Purdue students. The walls of the two-story building are covered in pictures of former Purdue athletes. People have carved their names and initials all throughout the bar. Fruit popcorn is always available and food specials are offered daily. Harry's does not have drink specialties, but they are known for their Baltimore Zoo, Green Dragon, and Long Island Iced Tea. Hope you enjoyed the visit to Harry's. Thanks for looking back with us. Hopefully we will see you again next time. Please share any information or your personal memories of this West Lafayette building by emailing wllookingback at gmail.com. Thank you.